The ATA has really become a great scientific home for me and been very supportive of early career scientists as they're moving forward in their research careers. I've been very fortunate to be the recipient of an ATA THICA grant, research grant, very early in my career, which allowed us to start um, my research laboratory and really start exploring areas um, of research very aggressively so that we could generate valuable preliminary data, which has now led us to be competitive for larger scale extramural funding. Um, so really the ATA THICA grants were the foundation that we built my laboratory on, allowing me to recruit a graduate student the second year into my faculty position um, so that we could begin our research very early on. The ATA meeting really has become a valuable resource um, for me. I am able to, to read the scientific literature to see a lot of what's going on at the basic research level, but coming to the, the meeting really adds an extra dimension to see the clinical relevance of what we're doing in the laboratory and really the application um, and to see where the biggest gaps in knowledge are. Um, I view this meeting and really one of the best parts of the meeting um, for me and being involved this last year um, has to really appreciate where the gaps exist so that we can begin to ask questions in the laboratory that really may be most impactful in um, impacting clinical care and patient-centered types of questions to really understand where are those gaps and how can we fill them um, with our basic research. And really, there's no other place for me to get that specialized knowledge, so to speak, because the ATA is so focused on thyroid and has such a huge presence of thyroid cancer that I really can get a much better understanding of the knowledge gaps um, and how we can play a role in basic science to really start to fill those gaps. Being a joint grant recipient of the ATA as well as THICA really has given me the opportunity to start working with um, THICA um, through the ATA, through committee um, appointments on the patient affairs and education committee to really begin to get a better idea of the patient perspective and what the patient-centered um, questions are within research and how we can start to address that. I've had the opportunity to attend the THICA thyroid cancer survivors meeting as a grant recipient to really talk about my research, but also that opportunity to work with those patients and survivors to really understand what questions they have um, and what they wish they had known at the time of diagnosis or the unanswered questions that they still have as they go through this journey. I'm a thyroid cancer survivor and I do have a better understanding of some of the questions, but for our research to really be answering patient-centric questions, we need to have that dialogue with the patient. And the ATA has been doing a phenomenal job with grants with THICA as well as other THANK and with other thyroid um, support organizations, not just thyroid cancer, um, and also through the Patient Affairs um, Committee to really produce meaningful information for the patients that's patient-centric, answering the questions that they want answered.